Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Saturday and I got the new Hourglass palette, which arrived the other day and I've been waiting to uh, film this video so I can share with you uh, how it looks on a person like myself who would, I guess would be considered to have mature skin. And, um, you know, maybe if you, it helps you decide if you wanna pick it up. Um, and add it to your own collection. Um, so I uh, I have been using it the last couple of days, so I definitely have thoughts about it. I did do my um, makeup, I did everything except um, my bronzer and finishing powder, and of course the um, highlighter and blush. So um, just real quick on my face, I did the Dior Air Flash again today. Um, I, I've been, uh, I haven't used it since I last filmed, so I wanted to use that again. Um, I set my under eye with this Charlotte Tilbury, and um, I used the uh, Tarte Ultra Creamy Under Eye. Um, this is, I used this brand um, that I received in a boxy charm um, for mascara, and uh, the name of the brand is Rockin's Rockins, yeah, Rockins Cosmetics. And I did use a little bit of this lash food that I received in my last boxy charm. Um, and then for my eyes, I used the new Norvina palette and I tried to do a little bit of a, um, a fall look for today. I really like this palette so far. So, uh, so far so good. It was the first day I used it. So um, this is the new Hourglass Ambient lighting i think universe and i think the lighter version is unlocked i think that's what it is or it's just lighting edit universe and that's the lighter version um then there is a deeper version which i considered getting uh but i did watch a few videos of other um of content create creators that have much <laughs> huge channels that I like to follow. Um, and they um, have similar skin to mine, skin tone. And while the deeper one looked nice, they could really, either way you could go, I think. Uh, I did prefer the lighter in the end, I just went for the lighter version. So um, there's a couple of changes from previous palettes. So I have a few, I really like um, Hourglass a lot. So you know, I just wanna show you some of the ones that I have from the past. So I have the Ghost palette. This was from two years ago, cause I didn't buy last year's. And uh, that's how that's looking. Um, while I've used it a lot, you could see, it's really hard to go through these palettes, even with these um, smaller pans. I like the shades that I use the most out of this one is this blush that I really enjoy. And I love the finishing powder in, in this palette. The finishing powder in this palette is gorgeous. Um, that one is, let me see what the shade is on that. So two is the finishing powder diffused light. So, Apparently that one is the one that works really well for me. So this is fine, still works, still using it. Um, last year I did not get the six pan one because I just felt like it wasn't different enough from the year before. And these palettes are quite pricey. So I wasn't, you know, looking to, you know, drop that much money on another one that looked too similar to the one that I had that was still, uh, perfectly performing for me. So um, I think it was it was either right before or right after the holidays. I think it was right after the holidays last year. I think Sephora had discounted both palettes. Um, I missed the six pan one because it sold out really quickly. Um, and that was fine. Uh, you know, like I said, it was too similar to the one that I felt that I had already from the year before. Um, but I did like the, um, the smaller four pan one, and I thought that would be more of a deviation and, and worth the money. So that's how this one is looking. And I really do enjoy this. I love, this looks like a deep shade. It's really not, it looks beautiful on, and I like that highlight. I actually enjoy that highlight a lot. 
So that one is, let's see. So, so three and four. Okay, so three is Mood Flosh. That's the blush. And then four is the Metallic Strobe Powder Champagne Strobe Light. I probably already have this one because then I had gotten, I did purchase this one, which Tara Lynn raved about. They had brought it back. And this one is the, the Ambient Absolute, uh, Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. It's Absolute Light, Pure Strobe, and Lucent Strobe. Um, so sometimes I go back and forth in between these three, and sometimes I just go in with this one. Um, so it, while it looks kind of similar to the other one, um, I can see that this one almost appears a little more pink. Not sure if you can really see that. Whereas this one seems, you could see right away, this is more of a beigey color. So um, love this one, use this one quite a bit as well. And then when they came out with the new one this year, um, I have seen some people say three out of the five shades are new. And I've seen some people, I, I saw um, Hourglass itself did a little on Instagram, they did a little, um, almost like a little story and they were showing the different shades. And they were saying that these four shades are new and then I heard these are the combination of three finishing powders. And um, I'll get to my thoughts on that in a second. Um, so I, I just felt, I could tell right away that these shades are different from what I have. This one might look a little bit more like something I have, but um, I don't think, I think they're all new. Um, so let's see, the finishing powder is Infinity. It's a blend of three of their finishing powders. Uh, the strobe blush is Vibrant Heat, that's new. Um, the bronzer is Glistening Bronze Light. I'm pretty sure that's new. Um, the blush Luminous Rose, I think that's new. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's new. And then the strobe powder is the Supernatural Strobe Light. Um, I think that's new. Nonetheless, I don't have any of those in my current collection. So that's, um, that's what I have to compare this to. Um, another thing I noticed, like the Ghost Palette was clear. Some people didn't like that and it had the, the shiny top here. Um, this one was sort of uh, symmetrical and more of a gold color. And then, of course, it had the bunny on the H. So um, whereas this one just said Hourglass. And then this one is has the silver. It's all silver all the way around. And then it says Hourglass on the top. This one is it's a like a metal so the side of it is sort of like this gold like a tin and then the top is like tin but then it's got this pink and white and gold and then it says hourglass here so that's a nice um touch and then what's interesting is here it almost looks like you can lift it up from here um you know but it's really it's just one it, it's one piece so it kind of like just snaps open the whole lid. Um, and then there's the um, products. Also, you have five in this one. They usually give you six. I didn't really care because I have the other ones and I'm not going through them anytime soon. So, um, so with that being said, I thought, why don't we go ahead and apply this? And I have to tell you, I cleaned up my um, my makeup room this morning, my glam room. And so my stuff is kind of all over the place. You ever do that? Like you clean up and then you, you can't remember what you did with anything. All right. So let's use a refer for brush and we'll go ahead and go in with this shade here, which is the lighter bronzer shade. And if you are not on the refer train, these are amazing. Um, I highly recommend. So what I've been doing with this is I've almost been like kind of brontouring. So you can see right away how much is, you know, is, is kind of dispersing. Um, and so I usually start kind of like at the back of my cheek here. And then I go up to the side 
and then up around my forehead and then back around. So you can see already it's, it's warmed up my, my face here. And then do a little under the chin, bring it down my neck. And I think that is a good amount. I think I'll stop there. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is that Vibrant Heat shade. I'm pretty sure that was the name of it. You can see what that color looks like. Um, I'm using an Alomar brush. I love these brushes. I got them in a BoxyCharm and they're like one of my favorite brushes. And then I'm just kind of going at the high points of my cheek. I have a very round face, so I have to, I have to sort of, um, I dipped into the wrong thing there. I have to kind of try to almost shape my, it's important where I place uh, the blush if I want it to kind of look right and sort of bring my face this way. Um, especially as we get older, we want, we don't want to go this way. We want to go this way with our. So as you can see, this gives off a lot of, uh, it's soft. It's very soft, but it gives you a lot of color, which is really nice. And I really like that. So um, really like it. I, I love the, it's like a punchy pink. It's really nice. Um, and then if I can find it, I may have to go with a different brush. Oh, hold on a second. Here it is. Okay. Um, this is a Morphe. Hold on without my glasses. I cannot see very well. One second. Morphe 510. Um, I love this brush. It's just such a great brush for, um, for highlight. So this, um, palette does not, <laughs> it doesn't really have a highlight. I mean, it's got this, so I, I don't really know if I consider that a highlight, but what I've been doing, yeah, I guess it, I guess it does highlight. It's not, it's not as bright as I like a highlight to be but um but it's very pretty and so i've just been going right here right at the top of my cheeks and then i just do a little on the tip of my nose here i do a little above my lip just to brighten and then i go around my forehead here and then down the bridge of my nose just to kind of brighten everything up and you really can't go that crazy with with this, you know. It um, you could see that it kind of diffused the pink a little bit. Now you could go back over that again if that diffused it too much, but I think it brought the pink down a little bit, which is nice. And so I I actually like that. Um, so that's the palette. I mean, it's a really nice palette. I haven't dabbled too much in the other shades. Um, this one, it looks pretty. Um, it's, it's kind of like a rosy brown. Um, it's very light. I don't even know if you can see that. It just, it doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't look as uh, when you, of course, you can't swatch these palettes very good. You really just got to apply them but it's sort of like this rosy shade. So what's nice about the palette is you have this more um, punchy sort of pink, which is brighter, and then you have that more subdued um, shade there, which is nice. Now, as far as the finishing powder goes, I don't love it. Um, I'm not even gonna put it on because I, I don't have a lot, let me just say this, I don't have a lot of texture on my skin. I'm very fortunate. Um, whatever is going on with my skin at this point is just due to aging. You know, it's just getting older and your skin changes. Um, and 
But when I put this powder on, like I was telling you, this powder that came in the one from, from two years ago is beautiful. It's like putting candlelight on your face. Um, this one, and I don't know if it's because they combined three different ones, um, <clears throat> it showed off like whatever texture I did have. So like right here, right now, you can see it's very, you know, it's, it's very luminous. And, but when I put that powder on and I was totally expecting it to do what the ghost palette did, it, I noticed that it just kind of sat like wherever there was those fine, fine lines, like very fine lines that I just happen to have like right over here and here. And I was like, Ooh, I don't like that. I mean, I don't want to accentuate that. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, happy that I don't really have that to kind of deal with, but whatever was there, it brought it out. So that I'm probably really not ever going to use that part of the palette because of that. I'd rather go back into this one, into the ghost, and use that beautiful one, which is like, you know, is, is like heaven. It's so, it's like putting candlelight on your face. So, um, so that's my feelings on the palette. It's a beautiful palette. Um, I really like it. If you, if you could get past this, if it works for you, then it's a total home run. For me so far, the four that I have tried, um, I do like, so most of the palette works for me. Um, I might try it again. I might try the, the, um, the, the finishing powder again and see if it changes anything. But right now I just, you know, the one or two times I tried it, I just, I just wasn't my favorite. So, um, that's my feelings on the hourglass palette. I, um, I did, was able to, there was a code going around um, that was working at Ulta for 20% off and it, Ulta had it going for a while. Everybody was using this code. So I used the code and it actually took 20% off the palette. So I was really excited about that. And I love Ulta's point system. So I love that Hourglass is being uh, sold at Ulta. I think that's great. I think it's a great move for Ulta. So I was really happy about that and I was able to get the 20% off. So um, if you don't need to get this now or you're not one of those people that needs to have something right away, I would just wait. You could either wait until there's like another 20% off by Ulta or um, Sephora. Sephora sales are coming up. I think they're having the friends and family right now. Unfortunately, I don't know anybody that has a link, so I can't shop the sale right now. I'm going to have to wait until the, um, the, the sale comes up. Usually it's in November. Um, or ne after the holidays, they might do what they did last year with this one and steeply discount it. And then you just really got, you really got to just basically grab it and check out because, uh, they did go really fast last year when they, when they, uh, really discounted those. So anyway, that's my thoughts and feelings on the hourglass palette. Um, if, uh, you know, you may even want to try the deeper one. The deeper one looks pretty, but for my skin tone, I just felt like the lighter one fit uh, was a better fit for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And if you would um, do me a favor and comment and hit the like button, I'd really appreciate that. And I'd love to have you as a su subscriber. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching.